Welcome to Ramsey in 10, where I'm going to show you how to cook the most amazing dish in 10 minutes. But honestly, I don't mind if you're one or two minutes behind, but I guarantee you the tips and the insight I'll show you, it'll fast track that food, and who knows, one day you may absolutely nail it on 10 minutes. Today's dish is a beautiful pan-seared sea bass with a sort of Mediterranean light tomato eggplant or aubergine olive chili sauce. I've got some leftover couscous, which is going to be on the base, which is actually the starch. But this thing is an easy dish to put together. The most important thing I want you to do is get organised. And so 90% of this battle is in the preparation. So I've got the fish, which I've already filleted. It's a beautiful little uh, baby sea bass. I'm going to score it, sear it. That cooks in about two and a half to three minutes. Eggplant, cherry tomatoes, garlic, a little bit of oregano and these little uh, Calabresian uh, South Italy chilies. What's the longest thing to cook? That's what you've got to ask yourself. Um, it's not the fish, it's the eggplant. Get the pan nice and hot first and guarantee this will be done in under 10. Here we go. So literally top and tail. And with the eggplant, you know, it's a delicious vegetable. The less time you have, the thinner you slice it. There's no fast track. That's why I love using these little ones. And they're less bitter than the big ones, but more importantly, once they're crispy, they are so delicious. Olive oil in, get that nice and hot. If that olive oil isn't hot, then the eggplant actually starts to go soggy, and then they go greasy. Everyone worries about salting them and then squeezing. No, when they're this small, the eggplants do not need salting. Okay, into the pan, and get a really nice sort of crisp texture on those. Now, Eggplants in. The nice thing about this particular sauce, the sauce can be made and literally it can sit in the fridge for a day. The longer it sits in the fridge, the tastier it is. Eggplants in. And you'll see that oil get absorbed straight away and that's why it's got to be hot so it gets nice and crispy. If the pan's cold and the oil's cold, the eggplant will turn greasy and soggy. So get it nice and hot and you'll see them getting beautifully coloured. From there, start slicing your shallots. And this is the base of the sauce now. So we don't need to fine dice anything. It's a sort of rustic Mediterranean take on a beautiful roasted sort of sea bass. I saw this dish down in a little restaurant just outside Saint Tropez. And this is sort of a faster version of it. Now you can see the eggplant getting nice and crispy. I can put a touch more oil in there now and get some color on there. Really, really important. Beautiful taste. Not bitter at all. And that's why I much prefer using these small eggplant than the big ones. The big ones take so much more time to cook. Onions ready. Next to that, clove of garlic as well. If you don't want to slice the garlic, get a microplane and grate the garlic. I like the texture of the garlic, so slice it again, nice and thin. In. And then from there, get your fish and just lightly score the fish, just a nice little nick into the skin, and that'll stop the fish from curling up. And again, two or three little slices down. Shots, garlic, and tomatoes ready. Tomatoes are beautiful little cherry tomatoes from the vine. They're so sweet, they're gonna go into the sauce at the very last minute. Now, that's it. And now we're gonna start cooking them. Eggplants, beautifully colored. As always, once you've cooked eggplant, the most important thing is to take them out of the pan after that and just lightly drain them, okay? I've seasoned them, salt and pepper. And to get it a little bit more exciting, some zest of lemon, okay? The zest of lemon sort of gives it that nice sort of citrusy, delicious flavor. Now, look at that. Those eggplants are beautiful. They come out and they just sit there. They're crispy. They're beautifully cooked. Same pan. Start off with a touch of oil. And we're not gonna over color these shallots and garlic. It's gonna go in sort of just lightly done. Fish I don't need to put on. That takes literally two minutes to cook that fish. My pan's getting nice and hot on the side. Shallots and garlic in. Give that a really nice little toss. I want this sauce looking sort of rustic, a little bit relaxed, not too intense. 
I've got these beautiful dry tomatoes in as well. Sun-dried tomatoes in, I'm going to keep them whole. And the chili, I'm just going to cut that into little slices. It's been in the brine, and so, again, gives the sauce that little touch of heat. It gives it the right amount of heat. Seeds in, and look, you can start to see beautiful sauce coming together. Once you've got that colour on the shallots and the garlic, turn down the gas, really super low. Touch more olive oil, cool that down. And then from there, we'll put a little touch of white wine. Just a touch, a tablespoon of white wine in there. Beautiful. Lovely. So good. Reduce that white wine down. And then from there, we start building out the sauce. Okay, I've got a couple of tablespoons of vegetable stock. Give it a little bit of body. And then from there, a couple of tablespoons of chopped tomatoes. And look, take that off the heat. You can see this really nice tomato-y Mediterranean sauce coming together. Shots are cooked, garlic's cooked. Check on the seasoning. The heat's in there. And now I'm gonna drop my tomatoes in there literally without cooking them, so they go nice and soft. And then finally, I've got my olives, the saltiness, and then a little touch of fresh oregano. I'm not gonna chop this, I'm just gonna put that over the sauce. I just pick the leaves in, so it becomes a little bit more fragrant. And like I said, this sauce can be made a day, two, three days in advance. As it sits in the fridge, it's so tasty. We've all got onions and garlic and tomatoes at home, so it's a great way of using leftovers. It really makes a nice, refreshing sauce. A tablespoon of olive oil on top. And then finally, take your lemon and just grate over there. Now, from there, fish into the pan. Touch of oil. Get that nice and hot. Lightly season the fish. And then, literally, into the pan, down. And this sea bass cooks like salmon. 90% of it skin side down. That keeps it really nice and crisp. But these little fillets literally take 90 seconds to two minutes to cook. Beautiful. Couscous. All I've done here is just literally brought the couscous back up to temperature. I'm gonna squeeze a nice touch of fresh lemon juice into it. it gives that nice vibrancy and it's a really nice, delicious garnish. It goes so well with the sea bass. Beautiful. Now, once you've got the colour on the skin, that sea bass, turn that over very carefully. We turn fish once, get the fish slice underneath, horizontally, so you don't break the fish. Up and over. Up and over. Look how quick that cooks. And then as that's cooking, I'm going to put a little touch of lemon juice inside the fish, which seasons it beautifully. Look, lemon juice in, and as that finishes cooking, that lemon juice goes inside. Now, to plate, keep it simple. This is dinner in 10, lunch in 10, brunch in 10, nothing complicated. Couscous in the middle. Fish is still cooking nicely. I've turned the gas off, and it's actually continuing to cook from that heat. The sauce. I just lift up those tomatoes. I'm not stirring, not pressing. You can see the olives, the garlic, the onions, the sun-dried tomatoes. It's all sort of melted into one, but makes a delicious sauce. And then look, just drizzle around. And then finally, the fish. Take the fish out. One. Two. These beautiful crispy aubergine sits around the outside. And it's such a lovely way of using baby eggplants. And then finally, just a touch of olive oil around the outside. And there you go, the most amazing sea bass with a stunning Mediterranean sauce. That's not dinner in 10, 
That's dinner in nine minutes and 40 seconds. Beautiful. Do not forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel and good luck. Can't wait to see what you can do in 10.